Beloved, we are gathered this morning to thank God, to bid farewell, and to celebrate the life of our dear beloved Nancy T. Simukonda. She has fought the good fight. She has finished the race. She has kept her faith. Now, what is in store for her is a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to her on that final day. Not only to her, but also to all of us who longed for her, for his appearing. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, our rock and our redeemer, our sustainer. God is our protector. God is our shield. And God who is God in every situation. You are God when we are smiling. You are God when we are sad. You are God when we are shedding tears. You are God when we have so many, many questions, especially as we come to celebrate and to bid farewell to the life of this your dear woman. That you raised her at the time you did and brought her in the life of Reverend Simponda. They served together, lived together up to the time that Lord you allowed her to come home. We are grateful and thankful to you, O God, for this service which we commit to you and pray that the grace who are bound for each one of us. Let this service of this, our dear sister-in-law, friend, colleague, and the wife to our brother, be able, O oh God, to enable someone here, O oh Master, know you as God, know you as his creator, to the glory and honor of your name. We commit everything that will be done, the self committed to your hands. Receive all the glory, honor, and power, even as we proceed with this, our service, it is in the name of Jesus that we make this prayer. Amen. We may be seated.
St. Matthew's choir, that was the praise, or it was a combined. St. Matthew's choir.
Macquires, if you are here, please go and register with Mr. Zimba. As the presbytery is singing, we have a offering. I will invite the one to lead the offering to come. May we rise as we receive the offering. Pepe <laughs> Nukutila imamwe watu pele nansi takula simkonda Ukuba umwa na wenu kubwa umu bonfi wenu mwele samkulu Uyo wabombe minu mwaya kwe pano pesonde Uyo uo tuwa longa ni napo mwushu kwa lelo Uo tuwa pele na mwone chavu pe Icha kutemwa imamwe mfumu pamwe uwakwe Tata tuleti pokelele ni chavu pechi Ichicha pele wakuli imwe Uya bakuchipala uya bakuchisangulula Keni mwe mfumu chile chaku Teta uku sansa musha kulu kwa luwakwe Nangu tachenga saba sansa musha Tapo nengu mbusheno shumunga balanga inwe So our Father we pray that may your grace be sufficient for them Even as we offer this offering unto thee That Lord bless it and sanctify it In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we have prayed Thanksgiving in our hearts Amen We may be seated Allow me to welcome the Presbytery Secretary, come and give us the church announcements. Uh, Presbytery Secretary. Hello, mourners. We want to take this opportunity to just recognize and welcome our leaders who have come to mourn with us. And straight away, let me go into recognizing the presence of the Synod Bishop of the United Church of Zambia, His Grace, the Reverend Sidin Sichilima, together with Mama Yovana Sichilima. I do not know where she's seated, but she's in. I also want to welcome the General Secretary of the United Church of Zambia, the Reverend Musaba Chipasha, together with Bamayo. And let me uh, simply uh, ask all Synod heads of departments to stand wherever they are seated. Beloved in Christ, we welcome you to this um, funeral service. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, welcome. Worshipping with us this morning is the Reverend Bishop Festus Chulu from Muchinga Presbytery, the Reverend Bishop Gondwe from North Western Presbytery. If there are other bishops from other presbyteries whom we have not seen, May they please stand that we welcome them. Beloved in Christ, we welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Welcome. We are not aware if we have government, uh, senior government representatives 
but we also uh, wish to welcome them if they are in our midst. And uh, simply and very quickly, I will welcome ministers according to their presbyteries. The bishop and the ministers from Copper Belt, may we have all the ministers from Copper Belt standing. All the ministers from Rapula Presbytery, uh, together with the Bishop uh, Rapula Presbytery. All the ministers from Eastern Presbytery. All the ministers from Central Presbytery, Western, Southern, Northwestern. Mochinga, Northern, brothers and sisters, we welcome you to Lusaka, uh, in particular for this funeral, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, welcome. All ministers from other denominations, we know that uh, the uh, uh, ministry that um, the Reverend uh, Simukonda and the wife uh, uh, used to carry is a little bit unique. They are friends from quite a number of churches, and so we want to welcome ministers from other denominations present here and other leaders from other denominations present in this place. Brothers and sisters, we welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Welcome. We also welcome deaconesses, the youth workers, and evangelists who are present, beloved in Christ. We welcome you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All former workers um, of the late Mrs. Simukonda, that is those she worked with at uh, UTH, those that she trained with in Indola, and other friends relatives we want to take this opportunity to welcome you to this uh, funeral service in the name of the father son and the holy spirit in other words let me just welcome all mourners present here today we welcome you in the name of the father son and the holy spirit welcome the Bishop uh, Central's uh, work team, we welcome you, Bishop uh, Central, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, welcome. It's time for the tributes. I will invite the following. Better was a Twishi the Pamo, a tribute from the husband, the children, then from the family, siblings, the sisters. Then after this set, we'll have a tribute from the church worker spouses, the workmates at UTH, and former class workers, classmates at the Indola School of Nursing. So a tribute from the husband, those representing the husband, the children, and the family and siblings. Can you please come forward? Sorry, just an error. I will invite the family to come and give us the family history. Aba lupo aba parents and books are under pamweo. Then after the family, we'll go to the church history by the elder. Um, 
I greet you all. In the name of the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. I'm going to give a, I'm going to give a brief history of the Red Nancy Taplos Mukonda. Uh, Nancy Taplos Mukonda was born on 18th July. 1984. She was the 10th born in the family of 11. She started uh, primary school at Nkambo, primary school in Luansha. She was there for two years, from 1991 1992 and later moved to River Cross Primary School. In 1993, from 1993 to 1997. And then in 1998, she did a grade 8. That was from 1998 to, 19, to 2003. She was at the Ibenga Secondary School. And then in 2006, she went at the Ndola Central Hospital. That's where she did a, a, a nursing course. She completed in 2008. She did very well that uh, at the end of her course she was given two awards, one of which was uh, um, the best, one of the best students there. And then on 12th December, she got married to the man of God. Reverend Simukonda, which was a gift from God. In 2010, she started working at the university teaching hospital. She worked for some time, and then later, in 2014, she also did advanced course there. She was specializing in clinical care, critical care. So she, she was there for, from 2014 to 2015. On Tuesday, 20th October, she answered the Lord's call. She left us at the age of uh, 86. She has left behind three beautiful children and the husband. There is Zevian G. Simukonda, who is nine years old now. There is also Upendo Simukonda who is four years old now. And there is also our angel, our special angel, who is in hospital now, right now. She's about three days, three days old. She has also left behind siblings. I said she was the 10th born in the family of 11. So she has left 10 siblings. She has also left mom and dad.
this point in time, I would like to say thank you so much for being what you are, my sister. And may the good Lord take care of you. Thank you. All protocols observed, may I simply say, good morning, fellow mourners. Mrs. Nancy Tapulosimkonda was born on the 18th of July, 1984, in Luansha. From the parents, the father's name, Bislet Tapulo, and mother's name, Aida Tapulo. She went to school like we have heard. She did a primary education and then went to Ibenga Girls for her secondary education and went to do her nursing in Dola. She specialized in critical care nursing. That's how come she was working from the intensive care unit. Like we've heard, she's left behind three children and a beloved husband, Reverend Aaron Mboma Simkonda. Her favorite hymn in Bemba was 183. And her favorite scripture verse was Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. We at St. Matthew's would call her, we used to call her Mami Nancy, Amai Busa, our friend. And she was not just a full communicant member, but also a lay preacher and a girl's brigade officer. She joined the girl's brigade on the 10th of January, 2016. She was very instrumental in counseling young girls and ladies, especially when it came into ushering them into marriage. She was always smiling and always available to lend a helping hand and also giving positive advice. We have lost a pillar. We don't even know how we'll carry on from here. We we'll miss her very much and may her soul rest in peace. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Now for the tribute, I'll invite a tribute from the husband, the children, and the family, the siblings, the sisters. After this set, I'll invite the church workers, spouses, they've got a song, and the workmates from UTH, and then a former classmate from Dollar School of Nursing. So a tribute from the husband, children, and the sisters, which is our motto, Aishira Pamo, for the sake of time. Good morning, my fellow mourners. My name is Reverend Richard Simsonda. I stand to give a tribute on, on behalf of the Reverend Aaron Simconda to the wife, Mrs. Nancy Tabulo Simconda. Tribute to my wife, Nancy Simconda. I know you always said someone must show love in reality and not just say good words when one cannot hear. 
I fondly called you Avena Nancy. Chibusa Nakulu. Why have you gone so early? These and many other questions I am failing to understand. I know there is an answer, but it may not come now, but later in the Almighty's plan. Whichever way, I will strive to allow the will of God to prevail. It's not easy, I must confess, but that's the only way for me and the children. Nancy, you were bored, expressive, and visionary. You were my critique. Whenever I did something below the standards we set, Avena Nancy, you have left me with three challenges. Challenge number one. Raising Zevianji, Upendo, and especially Baby Nancy. Challenge number two, running the home the way you used to. And challenge number three, doing ministry at the same time, taking up the role of a father and a mother. The challenge is no easy a task. But with God on my side, I boldly declare challenge accepted. Your strong personality will be my inspiration as I lean on God. The 10 years we've lived together will always be a journey to remember and a sweet memory I will always cherish. Yes, sometimes we would have misunderstandings and no one would know as our trust was in each other and in God who brought us together. Yes, it was a journey of trials, hardship, and temptation. But with the love for each other and in God, we managed and came out victorious and more bonded together. Nancy, you fondly called me as your pastor. I thank you for your wise counsel your foresight and loyalty to me as your husband. You were everything and all I needed for my journey and ministry on earth. It was devastating to imagine what will become of me and our children now. I took for granted not knowing that a new chapter would be starting soon. Go well, Nancy. The great and with the Lord. So faith. Why not? life.
Remember, and they, and love. Good morning, fellow mourners. A tribute to our God-given spiritual mother, Nancy Tapolo Simkonda. Yesterday, we sat down as your spiritual children to write a tribute to our mother. And we couldn't find the best words to describe the kind of a mother she was because she was more than our spiritual mother. Oh God, a light from our life has gone. The voice we loved is still. A place is vacant within our hearts. We can never be filled. Oh, mother of many children, my oh, my matron, give your toilet meter, my my oh, as a woman too, and the joyful mother, a mother, or a prophet mother, 31 verse 25, woman. May I sorry it's an internal peace my meeting with me again. Uh, uh, girls Brigade, can you come and help me? Uh, girls Brigade, send send up an encono. Allow me at this moment to invite uh, the representative but at Abascaswe to give us a tribute from the former GS and a tribute from our dear friend who is in mission abroad. This is a tribute coming from the Reverend Doctor. Peggy Molandia. On behalf of my family, and indeed on my own behalf, we would like to express our sincere and deepest shock on the untimely death of Mrs. Nancy Simkonda, an intercessor and a believer in Christ. Mrs. Simkonda epitomized herself as a gentle, kind, open and honest woman who gave herself to church and community by providing comfort as a minister's wife and in her capacity as a believer in Christ. I am grieved as I remember how we exclusively danced and she and her husband during the worship service when I last preached at St. Matthew's congregation. I feel sorry for myself, having not been beside your husband, the man that you loved so much. Oh, Aaron Mboma, I believe, and I'm sure you would agree that some of you were fortunate to have known her, whether you met her once or knew her for many years. How blessed we were to have such a woman of faith. Most of us and other, others remember this icon as a true follower of Christ, always putting on a genuine smile on her face. To us, as the United Church of Zambia, we have been robbed of a princess among women, an industrious and a mighty oak, Mrs. Simkonda, had values. These are values she held on and imparted to everyone with whom she 
ever came into contact with. Her outpouring of respect for every human being, temperament, collegiality, knowledge, and the pursuit of excellence always tingled with the right amount of humor, saved her well, and gained her the respect and devotion of her colleagues. So, you can see that Mrs. Simukonda had a splendid and rewarding life. Her own children never lacked love, attention, guidance, or advice, including other family members. Above all, she loved her husband, Aaron. One would feel bitter when we find that such a wonderful woman has been robbed from us and have a reason to complain. Chachine abasumabaya. How could such a mighty woman be robbed of her vitality? But what counts is that there is never a complaint amongst Christians, but instead have a reason to thank God that he had given us a chance to live with such a great woman, mother, wife, Nancy, whose legacy shall live to be remembered in time to come by all succeeding generations. Heaven should be brighter to receive such a woman. One day, no matter what time will elapse, as believers in Christ, we shall meet. May the God of our forefathers and mothers let her rest in eternal peace. Reverend Dr. Peggy Mulambia Kawonde. The last um, tribute is coming from the Reverend Sibile. Nancy, saying that you have gone too soon is not suggestive of our lack of faith, doubt, or casting aspersions on the, on the God we save. But it is one way of trying to boldly face and come to terms with this shocking, unpredictable, heartbreaking, and painful reality. Just a few weeks ago, my brother and I we are joking about how pretty you had become after putting on some weight due to your pregnancy. And in your usual sweet and calm voice, you responded, please leave me alone. Little did we know that today we could meet in this way. Your departure has left most of us asking difficult questions whose answers no one can provide. All this is being done in our quest to find better ways of expressing our attachment to your unique, impactful, and a life which can only be described as well lived. I vividly remember how my brother fought for this love as he traveled many times from Kitwe to Ndola with an intention to come into your life only to be told that you had no time to see him. Fortunately, this love grew and blossomed to a point of inspiring many couples and those to be. You were indeed a perfect match for my brother we will miss your contagious smile, charming, warm, and humorous personality, as well as your inclusive love, regardless of one's status. Nancy, yours was a life, optimized by elegance and class, leaving many of us with no options but to comment 
on your always gorgeous and on point photos that post that we are posted on the social media you were undoubtedly an exceptional partner in my brother's ministry and an incredible mother of not only your biological children but all who had a void for the mother's love thanks nasi for your unreservedly sharing your life with us in the manner that you did Cynthia and I pledge our prayers and any form of support we could render to my brother and the family as they navigate the future without you walk good sister and friend until we meet again Lembe and Cynthia partners in mission to the United Church of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands Thank you from the family if there are any tribute from the siblings Then we will proceed I will invite the church worker spouses to come and give us a song and my spouses to end the shake of one for my spouses. After the spouses, I'll invite the church workmates from UTH and their former classmates. Fue bon, se 
The workmates, followed by her former classmates. Morning, fellow mourners. I stand here to read uh, Nancy's uh, tribute uh, from the workmates in the intensive care unit. I may not be in the best uh, position to read this tribute, but I have to be strong because Nancy, this is the only tribute I can read. Tribute to our belated Nancy Kaplosim Konda. Our dear Nancy, our friend, our colleague, Bamai Busa Bamayo, like we've always uh, addressed you. Our, our counselor, our friend, you really have shattered our hope. No words can exp exp express the pain you, ha you have caused in our hearts. Nancy, you have left a vacuum that will never be filled in the main intensive care our workplace. You were a true lifesaver who knew no race, status, age, tribe, or any other affiliation in society, but diligently carried out your duties which you were called for, which is to save numerous lives that needed your service at the shortest possible notice. Nancy, we could not save your own life. We wish we could be there for you to, to save your life like you did as your profession. We would have been delighted to have a chance to try and save your life, but our God in heaven chose not to give us the slightest opportunity. We only wish we could pay you back what you did for others, but alas, our Father, your Creator, wanted you back home. Save him. Nancy, you ran your race here on earth. Carry your candle and let it continue shining wherever you are. May God remember you for the good works that you did here on earth. We will miss you dearly. Our ICU will never be the same without you, dear Nancy. We will forever miss your smile, Bama. Your, may your beautiful soul rest in eternal peace. Go well, Nancy. Go well, our beloved. My name is Lengwe Lubunda, standing here on behalf of all of Nancy's friends, stemming from Benga Girls Secondary School and School of Nursing. I'm also standing here on behalf of the Nurses Christian Fellowship, 2006 to 2008. Before I proceed, I just want to say, before I do this tribute on behalf of everyone, I want to say Nancy was my friend. If you followed her social media posts in the past weeks, Nancy devoted her last times talking about depression and how people can overcome. I am a true testimony of that. Because of her, I fought depression. She was, my, she was a year ahead of me at secondary school at Ibenga Girls, but we were in the same intake at Ndola School of Nursing. I was at the time when my life was on a verge of depression because of the circumstances surrounding my life. I cannot go into those details. 
but she was the type of person that made sure that my stay at Ndola School of Nursing was the type where I would not look down on myself and the, and the esteem came back. If I show you photos of my early days at Ndola School of Nursing, most of the clothes that I wore were Nancy's clothes because she didn't want me to go through life thinking I didn't deserve anything better. And so even as I stand, I'm saying, dear Nancy, you meant so much to all of us. You were special and that's not a lie. You brightened up the darkest days and the cloudiest sky. Your smile alone warmed our hearts and love and your love still rings in our ears. We could give anything to have you well and standing here. Your love we will never forget. Many tears we have seen and cried. They have all poured out like rain. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone, Nancy. A part of us went with you the day God called you home. In life, we loved you dearly. In death, we still do. Your memory is our keepsake and which we will never part away with. God has you in his keeping and we have you in our hearts. For us who are left behind, my prayer is that we can all reflect on our lives. In these last days, it's not about how many years you live on earth, but it is how you live your life with the years that God has given unto you. Some people can live a hundred years and leave no impact. But look at us today. 36 years of Nancy's life and all of us are here. People that can't travel, mourning outside the country, in other parts of, the, of Zambia that couldn't travel here just because of a life that was shared with us. May you nurses especially, every day you work in those words, remember how you want to be remembered. For Nancy, if this job that she did as a critical care nurse, if it was a job to be rewarded every day, she would get awards every day. She was so hard working. She didn't look at someone because of their background or where they were coming from. Sometimes when we were student nurses, it pained us because she was always on time. She was always smart. She couldn't dodge work. She couldn't run away from a responsibility. And this is the same thing that she keeps, we keep hearing from all of the people that knew her. Today, Nancy, we celebrate your life. We will see you on the other side. I know that you received a standing ovation in heaven. People that you saved, people that you ministered the word of God to, they are there in heaven because you shared the gospel. May you continue to rest in glory till we meet again. You are forever loved. Thank you. Hello, mourners, to Nancy's uh, beloved husband. We are all saddened to be here and go through this moment even with you. But yet again, we want to give praise and glory to God because we met a woman that was full of virtues, a woman that was full of strength, a woman that was full of encouragement. We stand here today as friends that were with Nancy at school, at Ibenga Girls Secondary School. For me personally, I knew Nancy way before, from River Cross, where she spent her primary school. We come way back. It's very sad today. We have to stand here and bid farewell. Yet again, we want to appreciate because the years that we spent with her were worth living. Today, we want to remember Nancy as someone who was a confidant. Most of us, even in our group, can attest to the fact that whenever you had a challenge, you could reach out to her any time, any day, and she was available to actually give you courage and to actually inspire you and to actually give you the confidence to keep going. We remember Nancy as a mother. Back at school, I don't... I don't remember how many actually called her mommy. So she started out, even before she became the reverend's wife, she was 
a mommy to a lot of people back in secondary school. She has been a very consistent person and she's been carrying a lot of people right behind, just as Lengwe had indicated in her earlier speech. Today we want to remember her as a mother of confidence. Today we want to remember her as a mother of courage. Today we want to remember her as a spiritual mom who kept everyone in check and pointed them to the right direction, and that is to the Lord. We continue to encourage each other today that let us live a life that is full of a legacy, a life that will allow others to look up to us and say, I want to be like them. I want to live like Nancy. We miss you, Nancy, as we stand here. We continue to pray for the husband and the children that may the Lord Almighty continue to bless them and give them the courage to go through this very trying time. Thank you, Nancy. We were privileged to have met a person like you. Go well, our friend. Go well. Thank you. And last on the list, I'll call the SWORD Gospel team, where our dear beloved was their matron, and we'll end up with Mr. Mofia, a tribute song. Our age, Twende Sheko Bakemba. Twende Sheko. Good morning. You have heard uh, of the Sweat. Sweat is a gospel of ministers of the gospel through music. It's a group of ministers of the gospel through music. When the group was founded as young people still growing in ministry, we saw it wise to submit ourselves to higher counsel. Having known Rev and Mama Simukonda and their passion for ministry, we looked no further. We found a father and a mother in them. The wisdom we received from our mother was so much. She loved us, welcomed us in our home anytime we wanted. She always told us to always remember the vision of the group and move with it. She and Rev ran with the vision of our group and made it to, to become very fruitful, such that our first ever meeting we managed to bring over a hundred souls to Christ and over a hundred more reaffirming their lives to the Lord. The group has continued to do more with the guidance of our parents. Today we celebrate the life of Mama Simkonda because we have a testimony that indeed she ran a good race even as we call on the Lord to comfort and strengthen us through this song that we did for our mom. Jehovah Shama Twa Kuta Fewana Venu Twa Mita Kakwa Waumbinga Imwe Wasuko Wesu Ufuma Kuhimwe Jehovah Shama Twa Kuta Ya 
Rafina, Tofeni, Jehovah, Jehovah, we call on you. We depend on you, Yahweh. Yeah. 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 We rely on you. We depend on you, Yahweh. Yeah. There's no way we can run to. We depend on you, Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. Bambi bachete kela icheleta. Bambi bachete kela bakavalwe lelo ifwe. Tu chete kela femuli imwe. Oh, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord a healer. Oh, as the eyes of a seven looks to the master, so my eyes are fixed on you. Oh, Jehovah, Jehovah. to let me fire. Thank you so much. Mr. Mafia. Mwalosheni po mkwa hii wansi. Mkwa hii. Indine, indine chiri rishi chikala mba sana. Ine panumule mwona nini mufia wangomba. Kwena ningufwa ama tributes yonse o haba naba kwa le sabasosa. Pamwe o waba ama waba madamu. Ilu na ishire mfuwa kwe bati wa madamu watusha. Cha shide kiliki ya mindi mwandi melodi ya wimbo ya lisa isa. Ati mieo shesu, nileso mwene. Tuilai mwana kwa tituwa likuata amano, lese wakuata po amaka pa mweo wesu. Automatika liparapene, na chamba nukusta rekodi. So, ulimbo, ndifuwa ya ndishe. Pantu inele sana inechwa ndete, lapano isamba ya chalo, nifine mwala muna lala chita, na li kala sana maeza ya miuti pa miuti, shile chita function, hivi na kuchei chikusamuzi, Congregation. Na lila ndaya mashu hilo na lichita order of service. That was the last of last week. Na lambo kuchita function. Mlipo kwa kutema kutifu mini. Na li shaikale fezi. So mkwa hii ndetu hotel. Ndelo mbo kwa batikwe na mungu wa mashu ya limulu imbolo. Thank you. 
Toa Totela. I'm sure many of us would like to say spare some tubit because we knew her. I remember one time when I met her, I used to call her my in-law. We used to joke with the Simkonda's family that our children never know our shima people. So that in a Kwafkin Shayakupana, we know from which family they came from. <laughs> so when they had their second born, Upendo, me and my wife, we went to the Simkonda and said to our Dudwira, So I remember I met her. So I knelt down and said, So we laughed, so I was with someone. So this person I was with asked me, Who is that one? So I introduced her. So he asked me, Niba Nancy? I said, Yes. Then he said these words, I remember her. Because, but yeah, I met her one time when I was sick. And he said this word, At Naba smile of you, no good way the boy. And that has been kept. So if ever I met her, I would say, Smile and equal for that folk, we have Chipatara, two poly, two layer. And indeed, it is a good testimony. I will invite the congregation, even as we sing in honor, in memory of her, her favorite hymn, 183, Mwe Yesu Ninsu Mina. If you testify with her, I'm sure you sing it with great joy for her good memory.
the general secretary of the United Church of Zambia, fellow mourners, let us pay our due respect to the Honorable Permanent Secretary for Local Government, Republic of Zambia. This is no other than Dr. Bishop Eddie Chomba present. To you, our Lord Bishops, the senior clergy present here, former General Secretary, our senior lecturers, former bishops, the clergy fraternity, that's our, our ministers, diaconal workers, inclusive, the executive officers present here. Allow me to say our beloved mothers and fathers and friends in Christ. I heard our worship leader said, we have come to remember. We have come to celebrate this soul. We have come to reflect. Thank you so much, distinguished members of the church, for us all coming to surround our dear friends that are bereaved. Our quick reflection is based on the theme, everything as its time. And I wish to promise, I've got the captain of the team here, but that our Bishop Gondwe, he may not spare me if I prolong. So I'll be mindful, General Secretary, Permanent Secretary, distinguished fellow mourners, I'll be mindful of time and I shall try to compress and move very, very fast. Let us pray to God. Dear Heavenly Father, once again we come in your presence to acknowledge your greatness and your kindness, your great mercies that have seen us to this point in time for us to live in this world is because you breathe upon each one of us and give us life. Thank you for today that even as we are broken hearted in such a manner, we recognize your presence in our midst. We call upon you, Lord Jesus, may you stretch your tenderly and invisible hand, but that is mighty and comfort our dear brother your servant, the Reverend Simukonda, and the entire family. Oh Lord, we pray for the children. May you gr be gracious to them. Even as I stand here before your church, Father, I pray, touch my lips, fill my heart with your word. Let the words that shall come out of my mouth all our singing, 
songs of praise to you and our meditations be acceptable in your sight our rock and our redeemer in Christ amen church i remember when we were still young we had our uncle he was a businessman this our uncle was well known in the community where we were, we were growing up because he was a businessman and his business was thriving it was booming his name was so popular everywhere you go my wife is seated within the crowd i think she knows what i'm trying to share before the church and humble servants of god seated in the church this morning so this my uncle was a well to do man he had the cars you 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 can count types of cars he had them he had mercedes benz he had the prados of the world he had the property you talk about farms he had them everywhere when you go to the police station if his car was impounded and they realized it was the car of my uncle they would begin even to shiver because he was such a big man in the community they knew him this my uncle had the houses everywhere suddenly servants of christ and i beg your pardon especially my family members because some of you you know what i'm trying to talk about suddenly things began to disappear things began to disappear one by one and this my uncle who used to drive these push cars you could see him walking in the streets without even any car life had changed with this my uncle the property that he had had disappeared some of the houses were sold off cars had broken down the life of my uncle changed tremendously servants of christ i remember before the life of my uncle was coming to an end when he had sold all these houses and the property which he had the only thing that he had to do in the last days was to go back to our village but on a permanent secret to our village up the hills there he went back to the village and he is no more may his soul rest in peace what do i want to say in a nutshell servants of christ i do not want to take much of your time everything has its time in the world everything we read the scripture and we choose this very familiar scripture that speaks to us every day everything has got its time in the world muchalo mutamufwa ikano kuseko muno bya tabata bakwata motoka habata bakwata njinga pamyabo muchalo mutamufwa ika no kuseko muno bya tabata bakwa everything has a season the one that you are saying is not married you will see the season of that person is coming tomorrow for the bible is very clear everything has got its time hallelujah church Amen. the writer 
of Ecclesiastes says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Mayo, Mayo Banaskazwe, Mayo Mwa Fiash Mchilonga Nino, Deibu Kishanale Moneka Wino Sane Dionaria Kalumendo, Limbi Mamada Mwecho Wante Mwene Dionaria Kalumendo. Kalumendo Kale Moneka Wino, Nesapatoni Shaina. But everything has got its time. Amen, church. Na yuma na skazu na papila fya mshikumu moku mbutu shisha kuchipatala. Kuku inawale tubutu shisha. Ukuya sokola ili no mayo. Ukuya ali sokola. Bado usa mayo ni shia ali onaika. Ba sokola. Ba posela na pa window. And the little, little servants of Christ. Little did I realize that death had begun to come closer to my life. Na mshiba limotulalaba koka. Iri ino ya soko kole mwana kwati Ulifia wino wino Itaela na ali soko ka Moto ka Ile palamina to its time Ile palamina Kuda kuile kumfwa Nenu kutaulua kwa lesa Uko chinja kwesu Uko tume chinja Na ba bishop sirima Uko chinja uko bale chinja I feel my shmokutila. Season is drawing near. Hallelujah. To I kill in a banner. To I kill in a banner. Valiland of Attila. Oh, we. Nobody in a more latch territory. More latch territory. Nobody in a was chirima. Everything has got its time. Hallelujah, church. I'm sure as servants of Christ, several of us have been wondering why God would you allow this to happen to our beloved sister? Why? Dear Lord, should you allow such a thing to occur in our family? Why should you allow my God I listen to the testimonies here, tributes, even from the husband. Why, Lord, should you take my wife at such a tender age, only 36 years old? Why, Lord, should you take my wife in such a situation and leaving little ones in the world? Why, my Lord, should you take my wife in such a manner? We can have such questions, church. And we do have them. Each one of us, even within our families, individually, we do ask such questions. Te infefweka, mwenu kutono wako alesa. Te vata ataba simu konda na ulupono wabu lweka. Nangu friends, fida tuwa chilala nda te infefweka, tule ipusha alesa. Chishi mwele sacha belefi, mwenu pwenu mwushkubu alelo. When we read the Bible, it is very clear. Nava Marita, Nava Maria, we are Christians, all of us in the church. We have read the Bible, John chapter 11. We have read Nava Marita, Nava Maria, Bapunda Kuribuana Lesa, Mweye Sumoneni, Indume Yomuate Menwe, Iotuatemene Naifwe, Chinshi Afwila, Indume Afwa. Bengi sana waipusha ma question. Why has he died? Why has Lazarus died? Lord Jesus, he is your friend and you loved him so much. We have so many questions. And we can ask and we are asking today, church, why? Beloved servants of God, what I want to say is that God in his own great mercies could have kept but my own is Simkonda. Who is doubting? Who is doubting servants of Christ? To say the truth, God could have kept this soul. He could have kept this life under what circumstance? He could have kept it. Because you and I are believers and we know there is nothing that is impossible with God. There is nothing. He could have kept this life and added more years. But for some reason, for some reason, he couldn't. He did not want to keep the life. 
in the world anymore. For it was Banasimukonda's time. Banasimukonda's time had come. Amen, church. Can I hear someone shouting amen? amen. Time for Banasimukonda at 36 years had come. And we just have to come and give thanks to God. Celebrate our life. Because life is held by God himself. We have doctors in the church here. We have physicians in the church here. We have expert nurses here. Health workers who could have diagonized and they could have done anything. Doctors could have done anything, any surgery to work on even a simukonda. But even the doctors have limitations. Even if Bishop Sichirima has limitations, nurses in the world have limitations. Every one of us in the world, we do have those limitations. It can only take him who is seated on the throne beyond the blue skies. God, our Heavenly Father, is the one who holds life to every human being in this world. Don't get surprised. When you hear Strima is pronounced just after five minutes, after ten minutes, after twenty minutes, you hear Strima is no more. Time has come for such a one. Hallelujah. To God himself, our heavenly father, be all the glory. Ecclesiastes reminds us that there is a time to be born and a time to die. And while servants of Christ, we don't understand exactly why when Asimukonda died, we do know it was a time. Hallelujah. Let me just wind up I was sharing here, church. As we keep on commemorating this beautiful soul, friends in the Lord, I want to say this openly to augment the tributes that we are given on the podium here. General Secretary, I am a husband of a wife I want to testify in the church. I have never lost a spouse in the world. In this life, I do not know exactly how it feels to lose a wife in the world. But I believe one thing. Losing a wife is the most painful situation. The most, the most painful situation. There are people with the experience here who could bring out the emotions that we pass through, the grief and the pain. I am saying, I do not understand exactly, but the servants of Christ, all of us as we are gathered in the church, we know that it is so painful for a husband to lose such a dear one. We heard here that she was a very close partner. She was a companion that walked together with Watataba Simukonda in this life in the world. And God gave them those beautiful children as gifts from heaven. Servants of Christ, Bama Yobana Simukonda was the closest companion in this world. When Watataba Simukonda na Fikosa, Bashma Pepoba Kuala Sana Mushmo from Delandepo. It was her. intercede. even to counsel and to help a person for a person to stand. St. Matthew's United Church of Zambia. 
Mwali kutanwa kwa lesa wachunga Lusaka Presbytery United Church of Zambia Mario Yoaya Ema yoka sunga watu sungido Kristu na ni umwishu watanga anda yakwe Ukutila bena Kristu bonse bengesa Ukuisa pokelela Insansa shiria Nechibote Mukatika anda ya batata basi mkonda Fida bachila tuweba Ukula ngirila na bantu Kunshila ilia ya kwa lesa It is so painful it is not it is so painful we cannot doubt the pain that is it brings but we want to thank you that the time for mama yobana simukonda by kadilo mulilesa her time has come hallelujah church and i want to say finally as i'm concluding church nevertheless nevertheless Although life changes, although this life that we live in this world changes, although the seasons change in this world, let us continue to believe in God who never changes. Because the God that we believe in, church, my Yobadikonesi, the God in whom you believe in does not change. Hallelujah, church. He's the same yesterday. He's God yesterday. He's God today. He's God tomorrow and he shall live forever. The power that he had to raise those that died in the Lord is the power that he has even today. If he raised, even Elijah was raised to get into heaven. If he raised those that he died long time ago, he has the power to raise them even in our time and our generation. Hallelujah. Jesus tells Martha, he tells Mary, Lazarus shall rise to life. The same Jesus who raised the Lazarus, Manale Saudia, Uabushishe na balaza lo kufuma kubafwa Tete afilwe ukubusha na mayoba na simukanda Tete afilwe ukubusha na shima pepo wali ya batangila Awa chetekele mchebo cha kualesa Nukula mbatila kuchetekele cha kualesa Tete afilwe tata Tete afilwe na kalia ukubusha badia Aba fiashibesu inka shishesu na aba kashibesu Bari ya mafwili ila mkuchoteke la leso yu wa makayonse pantule sekwaba. Aleluya church. Doctors, listen to these doctors. I know you are believers in the Lord. I want just to announce once again, you continue to hold it tightly to your faith. You are scientists, our doctors. But remember, let not even this science sometimes mislead us. Let us do this science. Let us embrace it and glorify him that there is one who is beyond the science and the technology which we receive in the world. Na mushiba icho na landile fi pantu abantu bamonga basambirila bapoka na PhD ukumona kwati fi kwa lesa fi cha bichani. Abantu bamo ngatu akwata moto kakwati ya mwampela ila ila beka ka mayoba na skazwe ila beka Nga wakwata moto kakwati ya mwampela, ukumona kwati na lesa wachabe chabe. Leso yu, eko aba. Aleluya chaichi. Alaba sungwa, watu wakwata, tataba muoho. Bambele liyoluse, honorable PS. Bambele liyoluse. Alaba sungwa, bale saba pela mano. Tefyo fin. Bachi nkanya sana okusela padia, ayopu bala mbele lolusi. Bapu tu ilefe pala pene. Bapu tu ilefe pala pene. Bantu te drama hii, we are not performing drama, we are worshipping God. Hallelujah church. I want to say my closing remarks. Servants of Christ, God is there. Hallelujah. Efo chali nga, mchalo nga tuwa ikala, nga tulebu kishokutila lesa, eko aba. Everything has got its time. Tufuile tu aba, aba ichefia ukwika la kwesu kwa mchala. Aba ntu tufuile tu aba, aba ichefia. You can have money. And I want to say to the church, I'm serious about it. We can have money, we can have positions like presidents in the world. Shilumbu ile shina. Like presidents or kings or chiefs in the world. But you muntunga walai tukumuna wabakwati nilesa. 
walufia ichintu ichikala mba sana pantu eko aba aba sumu kutipapanga mayo na tata ama fluorescent tube waya na ama globe waya mayo kutipapanga na panga ndana muma streets kutituwa wika na ngufia 3000 lesa tetia wike pona 3000 mu street ya bama lesa tumafia kasubakanga akasubakanga mayo na tata na ngufia ni bali apela mano lesa bagia Uwushi kuba kapanga kasubaka moka kashe ku Britain kakashe ku America kakashe na kuno ku Zambia kuna kutitwa bachetekela sana but they are limited it can only take him who is seated on the throne haleluya bon sefe ifwe mayo bana twiza bana bishop bana general secretary ba permanent secretary bishop stirima bon sefe yimo na ba bishop stirima Time is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our season is coming like this. The question all of us before we go celebrating and with our procession to the graveyard is Lord, how will I die in this world? And like they said here, what is the testimony that I shall live in the world? What is the legacy that I shall live in this world? What is it that you are going to live in this world? na lile fidana chilalanda bale tusokola meno kuchipatala mayo na tukokola ine naamba nokuhirishanya mayo na tuikala pachipuna nombe chona mwene nichile na mwene kwa tipale pa zana ko paliya kukitwa bantu so mayo bana munde mbaba bantu so kanshi mayo mulya mukati bale itafe one by one haleluya bale itafe one by one mayo na nguna ko kwele kuchipatala ninji kala ndino lela ba dokota na lesela one by one bale ita tule chitashani tule sela time is coming for you reverend stream there is time that you shall move and come closer to that death how are you going to die what is the testimony that you are going to live in the world mayo bana simkonda mayo bana we shall remember that beautiful smile the beautiful abantu bamota baseka i'm telling you bamu abantu ne myoto kabale insha te tikushibe cho bafulwa te tikushibe ta baseka nangumu wa baibishe bamukusa mwe ba tato we mwila ba baibishe mwala o mwa prophet ba baibishe balia bamu abantu ta baseka what a beautiful soul hallelujah church What a beautiful smile. Mayo bana simukonda. We are praying the heavenly father to command the heavenly battalion, angels and angels to accompany her on the way. Hallelujah. And him God our heavenly father shall lay down a path in which shall she shall walk and he shall ask the angels to open the gates of paradise to welcome her into the kingdom of our heavenly father to rejoice and celebrate and therefore even as we commemorate as we shed tears servants of Christ let us remember there is a rejoicing up in the heavens to God our heavenly father be all the glory my obanans go well Go well, my Nancy, in the name of Jesus. Go well. Musamaye hande. Musamaye hande. Mama, Nancy Simukonda, musamaye hande. Musamaye hande, mama. Mulimo hamufe bupilo bubunde. To him be glory and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Ba nsendera mesho wa Dickens. Ba bishop tuletira mwishine ya tata no mwana no mpacho wa mshiro tuletira. Twa totela. Na laipsha ichilonga nino chimi nine.
Twimbe closing him. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. Indeed, yes, so that she was a winner, not to invent and such a one. remain standing as I invite the General Secretary to come and give us the benediction and the blessing. Shall we pray? Our Master Jesus, we continue to say thank you for indeed you have shown and demonstrated to us that you are a friend indeed. A friend in season and a friend out of season. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift given to us in your daughter, Nancy Simkonda, to whom we bid farewell today. We thank you for the life we shared with her, and we thank you for the lessons that we've drawn from our life. We bless your name, Heavenly Father. We pray, Almighty God, that even you who had given and has taken away from us, we will allow your presence to accompany your daughter all the way. May the radiance, almighty God, of your face shine her path, even as she continue on the, continues on this journey beyond the graves. We pray that your presence will comfort her in the name of Jesus Christ until you usher her in your presence where a place is prepared. We pray for the family. We pray for your man, servant, the husband to Nancy, that Heavenly Father, as he begins this new chapter in life, your presence will be sufficient for him. 
Let the Holy Ghost be his counselor and comforter. Let the Holy Spirit raise these three kids with him. But in your glory and faithfulness, they will grow up to be great children in this life. Reflecting your faithfulness and indeed your glory. For you have said in your word that you will be indeed the father of the orphaned and the widowed. And so, Lord, we pray that as you continue to accompany your servant on this journey, your faithfulness will continue to manifest itself in all aspects of their lives. Father, we pray now that as we come to the end of this service, you will continue speaking to each one of us. Even as you have spoken through your servant, his grace, the synod bishop, Reminding us, Almighty oh Father, of the fact that there is a time for everything under the sun. May we live a responsible life. Always living a prepared life. Knowing that you who is the author and finisher of our being. May decide without consultation on when to take us from the face of this earth. And we pray against being caught unaware, O oh Lord, in the name of of Jesus Christ. We ask now that may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with each one of us now and always. It is well. It is well with my soul. With my so it is The remains of our dear mother, the late Mrs. Nancy Simkonda, be laid to rest at Memorial Park, and we shall use Twin Palm entering gates. Balagonfia Twin Palm, Etwala in Girila Moku Memorial Park. Upe Tuapela Uwa Kwafa Kumanda. Yamalilo is 7,323 kwacha 15 way. 7,323 kwacha 15 way. Because of the multitude of people that we have that are mourning with us and we appreciate your coming. We are not all able to converge at the funeral house after burial. So to Allah Bomba so mung fiction we all synod officials, ministers, 
church workers, spouses, diaconia workers, evangelists, priestly officials, after burial, will all proceed to St. Matthew's congregation. Family members and our dear mourners will then proceed to the, to the funeral house. Now to foolish, we cannot all converge at one place. Together with our friends from uh, the Ministry of Health, we can all proceed to the funeral house. Please let us work that way. Transport. We had uh, a bit of a problem in the morning as we were coming to church where people were trying to get on any bus. Hey, Lomba, and I humbly ask you, can we reserve the SAF bus and the Sesco bus for family members? We have enough transport. But Bishop now Please carry one or two people. So as to Africa command, let me bring them back to the funeral house, and I'm sure they'll be able to find their way back home. Please, I humbly request. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Just a few other what I did not say, as if I came from the case of Christ, he'll talk like a body viewing. He humbly asked.
I shall not fail you or forsake you, says the Lord. Jesus said, I will be with you always to the end of time. In the tender compassion of our God, a dawn from heaven will break upon us to shine on those who live in darkness. Under the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed are the sorrowful. They shall be and they shall find consolation. The eternal God is our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, he gave us a new life into the living world. One thing I ask of the Lord, it is one thing that I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to